Drive out the canyon road. Philbrick. My name is Butler. Phil Butler. I've heard about you, Comrade Butler. I'm honored to meet you. Sorry I had to bring you all the way out here. But lately I've been sentimental about this spot. This is where Comrade Todd uh, committed suicide, shall we say? Was he the comrade that was going to go to the FBI? Yes. He was a friend of mine once. Ironic that he should die by jumping into a capitalist housing development. I think I like this story best. This one by Charles Dickens. Mom said it was her favorite, too. Shouldn't Mom be coming home from the store by now? Oh, yeah, yeah, she'll... She'll be along any minute. You wish you were sure she'd be here any minute. You shouldn't have let her go alone. You know that anything can happen when the party gets jumpy about a comrade's loyalty. Then why are you in the Communist Party? I've told you. Because I believe in its principles. State them. The class struggle of the proletariat. Revolution. The destruction of capitalism. The ruthless suppression of all enemies of the Soviet Union. And the establishment of a communist state according to the principles of Marx, Lenin, and Stalin. Yes, you say these things. But from my investigation, I find that you've contributed very little to the coming revolution. That's not true. I've worked hard to be a good communist. You're a hypocrite. You think more of your home and family than you do of the party. I've had to devote time to my family. I have young children. Nothing comes before the party. Not your children, your home, your husband. Nothing. You understand? Nothing. Yes, this is he. I've questioned your wife. In my opinion, she's unfit for further party activity. In view of this, I think we'll re-examine your position, too. 